Leighton, I have to ask you, I, I've seen some videos on the internet of you training and I've seen some pretty interesting stuff through coronavirus. So what's the most interesting thing you've done during this challenging time when it comes to training? Um, well, so me and my family we used to go to like Walmart and stuff, like get some groceries, whatever. And uh, my mom decided to get a grocery cart and bring one back to our house. And she wanted my sister to be in the uh, grocery cart when I was uh, pushing her and go around the block a couple of times to get, uh, to get some cardio in. So it's pretty crazy. Not too bad. So did it get more challenging? Your sister got a bit bigger, a bit older? <laughs> uh, no, actually, my sister's gotten a lot stronger. Um, she's been working out a lot. So uh, she's been pushing hard, same as my brother and my family. So uh, uh, that, that was actually pretty tough a couple of times. Uh, my legs were gassed, but I guess it worked yeah. out uh, pretty well. So It's like uh, an adjusted Moore family bobsleigh or something like that. Exactly. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Going around the block. I like that. Well, I, I know you've been doing some more conventional stuff right now to stay in shape. Uh, I know there's some skating stuff going on, some, some work in the gym. Maybe give me a rundown of that. I mean, we've had so much time here for you to, as players, get prepared for an eventual season coming up. Yeah. So uh, how my day goes down pretty much is I skate around, let's say, six times a week and work out five times a week. Um, it's pretty busy. I would say I work with one of my, uh, brother, Benson Moore and my buddy, Riley Piercy. So that's been pretty good. But at the same time, we're like social distancing. So that's good at the same time. Yeah. And, uh, during the week, I also power skate twice. I do power pro one and I do a shooting coach and just, um, pretty high paced, uh, skating drills. So it's pretty busy. And then sometimes on the weekend, I uh, work for a team in the truck. That's a moving company. Yeah. And, I honestly have to give some of those guys some credit. Uh, that's a pretty hard job, I would say. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you are, you're not yeah. doing a, a regular part-time job here. You're, you're doing a physical part-time job. How, how are you keeping that all together? That's got to be physically very challenging. Oh, yeah. So, like, some of these guys, they wake up at, like, what, 6.30 a.m., 7, and they start their day at 8.30. And sometimes, like, they don't get home till like, 10.30 at night or something like that. And, uh, you know, they're all nice guys. Uh, they're all hardworking, but at the end of the day, like I would say it's a pretty good job. You have a good time doing it. Um, you get to learn new some stuff and at the same time you're meeting some new friends. So good for you. I mean, I, I really got to commend you for doing that, I, especially given the schedule that you have with your training during the week. But do you find that having a job kind of takes your mind off hockey? You could just get in there with the, uh, the people and move and just do something different. Yeah, I would say so. Um, just uh, being in, like the working atmosphere, uh, knowing how to like how other people work besides hockey, kind of puts your mind in two different spaces. So um, hockey is a big deal for me. I obviously train really hard for that, but at the same time, like I got to work and I got to realize how other people work as well off the off the table. So, so I can imagine a lot of this work that you're doing on the ice and off the ice to train for it has a little bit or a lot to do with the fact that you are draft eligible this season. We know the type of player that you are. You're extremely skilled and a great skater. You're very creative in the offensive zone, solid defensively. We've seen all of that, but you're the player. You're the person who's going to be most critical of yourself. So what are the areas that you're working on right now to try and get better at? Um, well, I'm actually working on everything right now. Um, no one's perfect with everything. You got to work on the little details. So, um, I've been having a skating coach twice a week, so I got to practice my full stride, try to get a little bit faster than everyone else. So I'm a smaller guy, so I got to be able to use my skating ability as my advantage. And then I've been working on my shots and the points, stuff like that, like quick release, um, just get a little, hard, little bit harder. So it's pretty good too. And then I've been working on like my edges, how to get a, like situations that like, say I'm in the corner, like I got to make sure that I can kind of juke out this like bigger guy or faster guy. So I got to make sure that I use that as an advantage too. And then just, um, so overall my like, puck handling skills, I do tap. So that's pretty good. Works in tight spaces. So you get to feel like someone's on you, like quick speed and stuff like that. So it's been really good. So. Yeah. What, what have you noticed in the last year or two in the Ontario hockey league is one of the skills that you've realized I, if I could get a little better at this, it would really help me. And an example would be, I, I've noticed uh, as defensemen, you 
in tight spaces along the boards, just a little pull or a little toe drag here and creates that just a little bit of space to make the pass. So what things like that are you working on to make it easier for yourself in the league? Um, I'd probably say like, just like defending like bigger and stronger guys in the corner or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, you like just probably like doing some like extra little stuff, like probably going in a, um, like doing some pull-ups and stuff like that, or just hanging on a pull-up bar to like get stronger and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. Plus, like, I have a, a buddy to work, work out with, and he's probably, like, six three six four, And I just, like, kind of, like, show him around a little bit to show him who's boss in the gym. But, like, <laughs> uh, yeah, I got I gotta, just got to be stronger than everyone else, to be honest. I got to work out harder throughout the summer. But uh, I think it's been working out so far. I work out with this guy named C.J. McCartney. Um, he's a great guy, good trainer. And uh, I couldn't thank him enough for this great summer, so. Yeah, I mean, how, how do you think about that? Because I know, you know, I say this a lot on the broadcast, I don't necessarily think that just height and weight indicates how strong you are. And you know that as an athlete, you can go up against guys who are taller than you and lift more and be stronger. So how do you think of that as a, a smaller guy? I think you, you have to be, of course, stronger, but you also have to be smarter in the way you train, I can imagine. Oh, yeah, like, um, so when you're, a guy, when, the, when you're the guy in the corner, uh, you're obviously – going to have to use your advantage and got to use your hockey smarts. So like maybe like he push him by the hips so he like kind of loses his like skating ability. So he gets to open up his hips. So it gives you a little bit more time to do something or you just get like right down low, get in his way or something like that to get towards the net or something like that. So um, it's not really about your height or how smart you are with the, how you play and stuff like that. It's about like how hard you play. So um, I'd say like, yeah, just be smart how you uh, play with the, uh, how you play against the person. So, Anything can happen, so you just got to be prepared for anything. Yeah, you can just get so much faster, get those wheels going, and then you you don't even have to worry about it. No one can catch you. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> we'll take it away from the ice. We've had a lot of time here. You, you're doing a lot of training. Obviously, you're working the job, which is amazing. What else are you doing to take your mind away from the rink? Um, well, I've been going to this place called the High Range in Brampton uh, probably like three four times a week with my uh, family and friends um that's usually fun or i just go like out on the weekends either go like maybe to like a beach but at the same time like social distance and uh just make sure like everything's okay but uh two weekends ago my family and i we went to uh, blue mountain we stayed like a little place it's pretty nice us guys and just chilling like doing hikes and stuff like that so that was good and um yeah that's about it like i like being active um actually i've been on like I went out to eat uh, with uh, David Jesus and Cole Resnick nice. a few times. So like, that's really nice to get to catch up with some guys too. So Nice. You're the busiest guy in the OHL, Wayden. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Seriously, you're really out there. So when you said, was it high range there? Is that a driving range? Is that golf or what, what was that? Yeah, it's high range. It's a okay. kind of virtual reality golf course. Um, oh. it's the same thing as like a golf, golf range, but like it's just a little bit more high tech. Uh, you can see how far you hit your ball. You can um, uh, play an actual game. Like there's actually, it's probably like probably around nine pins where you can shoot from. So it's actually really nice. Well, Leighton, that's a lot. It's been good to catch up with you. Stay busy, and yeah. hey, it'll be OHL puck drop before you know it. Thanks for this. Well, thank you so much.